Given how large and empty deserts seem to be, you'd be surprised to know just how much life they are absolutely teeming with. And some of the creatures and critters loitering between the grains of the sand are truly lethal. These are the most dangerous desert animals in the world. Number 15. Sidewinder Snake Also known as the Horned Rattlesnake, the Sidewinder Snake is a species of pit viper that's native to desert regions across the northwestern U.S. and northern Mexico. Growing to up to 30 inches long, they're recognizable from other snakes because of the scales that grow above their eyes that look like horns. It's thought this is an animal adaptation to help shield their eyes from bright sunlight and from dust, which is particularly useful because they tend to bury themselves underneath the top layer of sand to wait for potential prey to pass by. They're called sidewinders because of the way they move across the ground and by using this method, they can reach speeds of up to 18 miles per hour. They hunt lizards and rodents, and their main way of doing this is by biting their victims, injecting their venom, and waiting for their target to weaken before moving in for the kill. The venom itself isn't particularly strong in comparison to some other species, but when combined with their relatively aggressive temperament, they can pose a risk for anyone they come across. If you're unlucky enough to be bitten, you can expect to experience pain. Swelling, nausea, and dizziness. And it can be potentially deadly if you don't seek urgent medical attention. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. The terrifying beast you are looking at in this photo is the legendary Step Eagle. These large birds of prey are a peculiar subspecies of booted eagles, predators of ground squirrels. They regularly attack and brutalize many land-dwelling mammals. Swooping in and messing them up, they are a large, robust, and bulky bird that are mostly dark brown with a long but oddly thick neck. While most eagles swoop down from the air to attack their prey, the steppe eagle will actually loiter on the ground slinking around and hunting for small mammals to eat. Simply put, if you are a tiny mouse, squirrel, or something similar, you do not want to be in the eyeline of one of these bad boys when they're hungry. Remember to comment down below with the hashtag juicy topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 14. Saw-Scaled Viper The saw-scaled viper is a species of snake that's endemic to arid regions across Africa and the Middle East. And if you ever see one of these in the wild, your best bet is to get as far away from it as possible. Growing to up to 35 inches long, they have short, wide heads, keeled scales, and a brown and cream coloration. This species is known for its unusual threat display, which sees it rub some of its scales together to create a sizzling noise, as well as a loud hiss. This is a warning that they're about to strike. And while most snakes may try to avoid confrontation, the saw-scaled viper will stand its ground. The snakes are most active after dark. A slight miscalculation makes no difference. And this makes it more difficult for people to avoid being bitten. Their venom contains a potent mix of four different types of toxins, and a bite can cause excessive bleeding and increased strain on the cardiovascular system. Because the health services in the regions where they live aren't as advanced as elsewhere, these snakes are responsible for a number of deaths each year. There is, however, an anti-venom that is effective if administered soon enough. You just have to be lucky enough that there's a supply nearby. Number 13. Gila Monster 
Found across the desert regions of the southwestern U.S. and northern Mexico, Gila monsters are a species of large, slow-moving lizard, which can be up to two feet in length. They are the only venomous lizards native to the U.S. It is very close to Bandit. All right, calm down there, guy. I'm not even near you. And while they're often feared by local communities, their lethargic nature means they don't pose too much of a threat unless you get way too close to one. They have long been a part of legends, speaking of how dangerous they are, which still results in a large number being killed each year because of concerns. In the Old West, they were believed to have toxic breath that could be fatal, and there's definitely an element of truth to these stories. Okay. Oh. Got that one. Their venom is about as powerful as that of a western diamondback rattlesnake, but Gila monsters don't produce it in such high quantities. Still, when they bite, they clamp on and refuse to let go, often needing to be submerged in water before they'll relent. Victims can experience extreme pain at the wound, a sudden drop in blood pressure, and even paralysis, with it being described as feeling like lava flowing through your veins. But if you seek medical attention quickly enough, this can be avoided in the vast majority of cases. Number 12. African Wild Dogs African wild dogs live throughout the scrublands and desert regions of sub-Saharan Africa, and while they weren't featured in The Lion King, they are definitely one of the most dangerous animals you could encounter, typically growing to up to 30 inches tall to the shoulder and weighing up to 79 pounds. They are a highly sociable species and do everything together in packs. This means that you'll never just face one individual, and even if you do just see one on its own, there will almost certainly be many more close by. They are able to communicate with one another through howling and sneezing, and this enables them to hold their own against natural predators like lions. They're on an equivalent level to two hyenas, and the two species will often battle each other for food. Oh, they got it! They got it! They got it! But won't try to directly hunt each other. Right now, African wild dogs are classified as being endangered, with fewer than 6,600 individuals thought to be in the wild. Their aggression towards humans makes conservation efforts somewhat tricky, but it's hoped that the introduction of wildlife reserves will help their populations to stabilize. Number 11. Cougar Cougars are the second largest species of cat that are native to North America, where they're also known as pumas or mountain lions. Unusually for large felines, they're not actually able to roar and rely more on subtle communication methods. Growing to around 9 feet long from head to tail, they can grow to up to 150 pounds and are adept at secretive hunting techniques. With their victims only knowing there's a cougar nearby, just at the moment it's launching its attack. Their normal targets are deer, but when there aren't any around, they'll turn their focus on smaller mammals, and even, on occasion, insects. Once they've killed an animal, they'll hide the carcass in a cool location so they can keep returning to feed on it for days. The relationship of cougars with humans is a tough one. Usually the two stay away from each other, but there are those who see them as a worthy adversary to hunt. The cougars have definitely got their own back too, though. As within the past century, there have been 125 documented attacks on people. That's at least one every year. And of those, 27 have resulted in a fatality. Number 10. Inland Taipan Found in the outback of Australia, inland taipans are by far the country's deadliest snakes and are one of the most dangerous species in the world. Because of their habitat, they hunt mainly small animals, and this means that their venom has specifically evolved to target their physiologies, which poses an increased risk to humans in comparison to that of snakes with more varied diets. Often growing to up to six feet long, they're described by keepers as being quite docile to work with. They will, however, stand up for themselves if they feel threatened, and this is when extreme care needs to be taken. The venom contains a nasty blend of neurotoxins, and each snake has enough to kill at least 20 people without needing to produce any more. Within seconds of being bitten, a victim will first find that their eyelids go droops, and then start to experience severe pain blurred vision, an irregular heartbeat, and 
difficulty in breathing. Death can follow within just 45 minutes of the bite, often as a result of paralysis and the inability to breathe, but also from kidney failure, heart failure, or from a brain hemorrhage. Number 9. Ostrich Ostriches, which are native to Africa, are one of the largest species of bird on Earth. And while they may look friendly, these creatures have a mean side. <coughs> Growing in excess of 9 feet tall and weighing up to more than 300 pounds, they aren't able to fly, but can run at a considerable pace and have been measured reaching speeds of around 43 miles per hour. They usually live in flocks of between 5 and 50 individuals, but with the bulk, that's equivalent to two adult humans. If you get on the wrong side, they can cause serious damage. Their main method of defense is their kick, and with legs that are powerful enough to carry their weight so quickly, this can be deadly. Usually, they'll try to avoid humans in the wild, but if they feel concerned or are protecting a nest, they'll lash out. The long claws on the end of the back of their feet mean that they can tear flesh at the same time as delivering an almighty hit, and can kill or disembowel a person in one strike. Research has suggested that they're responsible for at least three attacks a year that result in serious injury or death in just one region of South Africa, so the worldwide numbers are likely to be much higher. Number 8. Western Diamondback Rattlesnake Western diamondback rattlesnakes can be found in desert regions throughout North Mexico and the southern U.S., and are responsible for the largest number of bites and fatalities in both countries. Growing to up to 7 feet long, and recognizable because of the diamond patterning along their bodies, they are a species of pit viper, which have developed a highly potent venom. They hunt small mammals like chipmunks, squirrels, and rodents, and will lay in wait until one passes by, and strike in a flash, sinking their fangs deep into the flesh and injecting the deadly toxins. Their prey will die in a few minutes, ready for the snake to swallow whole, in one of the most brutal hunting techniques seen anywhere in the animal kingdom. When encountering a human, they'll shake the rattle on their tail to indicate they are feeling threatened and are about to strike. And if you do get bitten by one, you'll need to seek immediate medical attention, because without it, your chances of survival are minute. You'll feel your heart rate pumping heavily, start to lose feeling in your extremities, and will likely die from asphyxiation as it becomes increasingly difficult to breathe. Number 7. Killer Bees Killer bees live in hives across the Americas, and it's a little-known fact that this isn't actually a native species, but was, in fact, created in a laboratory by combining two others, the European honeybee and the African bee. This has given them the same type of toxic sting as the honeybee, but the temperament of the African bee. And if you ever see one buzzing around, it's time to take cover. Individuals aren't a threat, but the problem is when they start to swarm. If one feels under threat, it'll release pheromones that smell similar to ripe bananas to attract others, and you could soon find yourself under attack by tens of thousands of them. Such a large number of stings rapidly increase the levels of toxins in the bloodstream, and even if you avoid suffering from anaphylactic shock, your kidneys are likely to fail because of the amount they had to filter from the bloodstream. It doesn't take much to trigger an attack like this, and they'll follow you for up to a quarter of a mile if you try to run away. The best bet is to carefully retreat if you see one, and give them a very wide berth. Number 6. Desert Horned Viper the Desert Horned Viper is a species of pit viper that's native to North Africa and the Middle East. And in a similar way to the Sidewinder, they have specially adapted scales above their eyes that look as if they are horns. Reaching up to 24 inches long, their coloration allows them to effectively blend in with the sandy environment, and you may not even know one is nearby until you walk right up to it. Normally, they'll avoid human contact, but sometimes they have no choice but to adopt a defensive stance. The first stage sees them coil up and hiss, and if this doesn't deter you, then they will strike. In a flash, they will bite and deliver their venom, which is a potent mixture of 13 different toxins, which will first thin your blood to prevent it from clotting, and then cause systemic organ failure, which will lead to death 
within a number of hours. Luckily, there is an antivenom available that will subdue the effects if administered quickly enough. And the snakes also inflict dry bites, choosing not to use their venom in the hope that the physical pain of the bite is enough to make you leave them alone. Number 5. Arizona Bark Scorpion the smaller a scorpion is, the more deadly its venom, which means that the Arizona bark scorpion, at just 3 inches long, is something to be extremely cautious around. They are native to the Sonoran Desert in the southern US and northern Mexico, where they hunt for small insects during the night. They are hunted by a number of different species, such as birds, spiders, snakes, and even other scorpions. And it's for this reason that they've developed such potent toxins in their stings. It's by far the most venomous scorpion in North America, and a sting will cause searing pain in the affected site for up to three days, and may even cause temporary paralysis. Some people describe experiencing shortness of breath. Ah! Ah, geez, yeah, he got me. And the sensation of an electric shock, but usually, these symptoms subside on their own. Between Mexico and Arizona, there are thought to be more than 100,000 cases of humans being stung by these scorpions each year, with maybe 10 or 20 of these dying as a result. With such a low mortality rate, the antivenom is no longer produced. So if you are stung, the only option is to ride it out and hope for the best. Number 4. Camel Spider while the frightening camel spider may look like a spider that's been combined with a scorpion, the truth is that they aren't actually either. While the frightening camel spider may look like a spider that's been combined with a scorpion, the truth is that they aren't actually either. Instead, they are a species in their own right, growing to up to 6 inches long and unusually large mouths at the front. Understandably, people are often startled when they see one of these in the wild and they can be seen in arid regions across the globe, apart from in Australia. They can run across the ground at a speed of up to 10 miles per hour, which is about half the pace of a human sprinter, and so are able to effectively catch up with any prey they're chasing after. As for the danger they pose towards humans, this isn't particularly clear. Oh my gosh, his little mandibles are razor sharp! Oh! While they don't have a sting to inject venom with, and don't even produce toxins in the first place, they can inflict a fairly nasty bite, and these wounds can quite easily become infected. Their appearance and quick movement is likely a greater cause of human injury, as people often report jumping on or running away in panic when they encounter one, and manage to hurt themselves in the process. Number 3. Coral Snake You'll probably recognize coral snakes because of that friend from high school who was allowed to keep one in a tank in their bedroom. But while those that people have as pets are relatively harmless, there are at least 16 different species, and some of them can be deadly. Found across Asia and the Americas, the North American coral snakes are known for their red, black, and yellow coloration. They love to come out at night. They're a nocturnal species most of the time. Although they won't always exhibit this, depending on the habitat. Surprisingly, they have one of the most potent venoms of any snake in North America. But because they're quite a reclusive species, attacks on humans are thankfully rare. They'll choose to slither away and hide instead of delivering a bite. But if they feel they have no other choice, they'll take a defensive stance. If you're bitten by one, you must go to the hospital. Their venom paralyzes the muscles needed for breathing, and victims must be put on a ventilator, as well as injected with large quantities of antivenom to recover. Worryingly, the antivenom is no longer produced in the US because of its prohibitive cost, so it's lucky that there are, at most, 25 incidents of bites recorded each year. Number 2. Fire ants. Fire ants are an invasive species that will happily build nests in any environment and build particularly large colonies in deserts because of how easy it is to dig tunnels into the ground. In America, more than $6 billion are spent per year to try and manage fire ant populations. Red fire ants like these in the American South have gotten a bad rap in our world. But it's money well spent because they can cause extreme damage and, on some occasions, can be a threat 
threat to life. Their mounds can go for more than 20 feet into the ground, providing space for hundreds of thousands of individuals. In regions where there are multiple queens, there can be as many as 40 million ants per acre across several nests, each of which has a sting and dose of painful venom. Each individual on their own doesn't pose more than a annoyance to a human. The sting site will itch and hurt for a day or so, but won't cause anything more severe. The problem is that they release scents to attract others to the location, particularly if they think you are threatening the nest, and you could find yourself being subjected to thousands of these stings. When this happens, they can trigger anaphylactic shock, or simply overwhelm your body with venom, and this can, in rare cases, lead to death. Number 1. Wild Boar you may not think of a wild boar as being something to be too concerned about, but these animals can have a ferocious temper which, combined with their sharp tusk, can spell trouble for anyone that annoys them. Growing to up to 7 feet long, with a weight of as much as 700 pounds, they are solid, sturdy creatures that don't like to be disturbed from foraging for food. <laughs> The males have an upward curving tusk, and during breeding season, they use these to their full effect. It's not unusual to see two of them vying for the attention of a female, and they put every ounce of energy into overcoming their competitor. If they will do this to each other, often causing significant injuries, then just imagine what one would be capable of doing to you if it decided you were in its way. Which of these would you least like to encounter in the desert? And were there any that you wouldn't be afraid of at all? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.